The multi-fuel Wankel motor developed by the Kofa, the Cottbusser Fahrzeug Technik GmbH, is a modular motor based on the famous Wankel design. The basis for this motor is a single rotor of special design rotating on an eccentric shaft within a simple housing. With a fuel injection nozzle and spark plug. As you can see, this design is very economical with space. The single rotor rotates on the eccentric shaft, supported by two bearings in the housing. The bearing force screws are screwed directly into the bearings and compensate for the extreme pressures acting on the bearings due to the preferred fuel, diesel oil, which burns very efficiently and therefore exerts more force on the bearings than a petrol motor. The Wankel motor design consists of the rotor rotating on an eccentric shaft within a housing with a combustion chamber in trochoidal shape. The shape of the rotor together with the shape of the three-sided combustion chamber creates, in effect, three combustion chambers. These function the same as those in a four-stroke piston engine. To name the four strokes, first, the intake stroke, where the intake air is allowed into the combustion chamber through the intake port. Secondly, the compression stroke, where the intake air is compressed by the changing volume of the chamber. Then, as the chamber passes the dead center point, the chamber is split into two. In the case of the Kofa multi-fuel motor, the rotor has an exclusion, which allows the air to pass through and fill the next chamber. While this air is streaming through the exclusion at high speed, the fuel is injected into the high speed stream, allowing a good mixing of fuel and air. The fuel is then ignited, during normal operation, the ignition occurs due to the high temperature and pressure caused by the extreme compression of the intake air. To help under starting conditions, when the motor is cold, a spark plug can aid the ignition process. Then comes the third stroke, the expansion stroke. Here, the ignited mixture exerts pressure on all sides of the combustion chamber. The side created by the rotor is hereby forced to move to allow the mixture to expand, forcing the eccentric shaft to rotate. This rotation of the shaft is then the driving power of the motor. Then comes the fourth stroke, the exhaust stroke. As the tip of the rotor passes the exhaust port, it opens the combustion chamber, allowing the exhaust gases to escape. The combustion chamber is reduced in size due to the shape of the housing and the movement of the rotor. This forces the exhaust gases to be expelled. The special shape of the rotor and housing creates three combustion chambers. This means that a single rotor Wankel engine is comparable to a three-cylinder piston engine. The modular design of the Kofa multi-fuel Wankel motor allows the simple extension of the motor to create a two-rotor motor using exactly the same end housing together with an identical combustion chamber housing and a connecting housing. The eccentric shaft is also modular in design, incorporating a toothed connection between the two shafts. Because the housings are now connected, now with longer bolts, the teeth on the ends of the shaft are forced into constant engagement. This type of modularity would not be possible in a piston engine because the housings are connected using bolts which exert the binding force at 90 degrees to the crankshaft. Here we have seen how simply a two-rotor engine can be created, making the most of the modularity of the Kofa design. Of course, this modularity can be extended to make a three, or in the following case, a four-rotor engine once again utilizing exactly all the same parts as we have already encountered. Here we have quite simply created a four rotor engine. With three combustion chambers per rotor, 
This is equivalent to a 12-cylinder piston engine. The firing order of this type of engine, controllable using the engagement angles of the eccentric shafts, is variable to a degree which would be unthinkable in a piston engine. This allows a further optimization of power and fuel consumption because it allows a design freedom for the exhaust manifold which is not possible for a piston engine. A three-cylinder piston engine of the same power as a single rotor Wankel motor takes approximately twice the space of the Wankel motor and weighs approximately twice as much. Of course, both motors require peripheral equipment to function. In this case, a turbocharger is used to increase the efficiency. This is connected to the exhaust system, the exhaust gases turning the turbine. The intake air is compressed by the rotation of the turbine, allowing a larger quantity of air, and therefore oxygen, to be forced into each intake cycle of the motor. The compressed air is passed through a turbo intercooler, which cools the compressed intake air, increasing its density and allowing even more oxygen to be forced into the combustion chamber per intake stroke. An air filter is of course necessary for both types of motor, as is a cooling system. A fuel tank, together with fuel pump and piping, is also needed. An electronic controller for the fuel injection and the fuel injection system is also necessary. A lubrication system is also needed by both designs. In the case of the Kofa Wankel design, only one spark plug or glow plug and one injector nozzle are needed, when the three-cylinder piston needs three of each, one per cylinder. As we said earlier, the Kofa Wankel motor takes approximately only one half of the space and weight required by the three-cylinder piston engine of the same power. We have chosen a three-cylinder piston engine for comparison because it is the best dynamically balanced design for a small engine, better than a four-cylinder. Even so, the single rotor Wankel motor is even better balanced. Another reason for choosing the three-cylinder is that it has the same firing sequence as a single rotor Wankel motor. The piston engine also has added disadvantages. A complete valve train is necessary to operate the intake and exhaust valves by chain drive to a camshaft. This adds not only to the internal friction of the motor, but also the valves have to be accelerated and decelerated every time they open. The pistons and their connecting rods have also to be accelerated and decelerated. All this reciprocating mass and friction costs energy and adds to the vibration of the motor. Each piston has to perform two upward strokes and two downwards to complete one firing cycle.